You're right, it is cold, Tunit. Can you believe these emperor penguins have been standing out here since the winter started in Antarctica? Super! It's true! It's up to these penguin dads to keep their eggs warm until they hatch. Hmm. Look like our mums! The penguin mums are at the ocean getting food for their family. But it's a long, long trip home. I hope they're back soon. Yeah, me too. It's gonna downright boring just standing here. We may be bored, hungry and tired, but we're emperor penguins. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our eggs safe. Right, dads? Right! I can hear you! Right! Shellington to Gup I. Not quick here. The emperor penguin eggs are fine and the fathers are staying strong. Very good, Shellington. It looks like the temperature is warming up. Spring is nearly here. The winds are calm and... Eh? Huh? What's that noise? Follow me! Quick, quick! Ah! Penguin cheeks! They're scratching because they're hatching! Super, super! Let's go and tell Captain Barnacles our egg sighting news. <laughs> Cracking! Good to hear, Shellington. The Emperor chicks have hatched. And that means it's time for the mums to head back home. How are the Emperor Penguin mothers doing, Peso? Swimmingly, Captain. Look, they're chasing off the food so they can fill up their tummies and feed their families. Incredible! Look at that strength and speed. My Emperor Penguin cousins are champion divers. They can swim deeper than any other bird. Dashy, Quasi, it's almost time for the penguin mums to head home. How's the research coming? Amazing, Captain. I'm getting some video of Emperor penguins feeding that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah! Look at them go! The flipping and the sipping! Yeah! And now I'm getting some video of Quasi that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah! Ready to go again. Oh, I'm still new at all this. First year laying an egg, first time diving for food as a mom. First time? You swim like a pro. Oh, you think so? I feel so full and clumsy. It's our last meal before the long trip home, so we have to eat a lot. Oh! Excuse me. It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Did you see that? Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup I. The Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. <laughs> Penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. <laughs> Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. <laughs> She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I, I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. Picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? 
Turn northwest past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gup I, come in. Come in, Gup I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry, we'll keep warm by carrying you home! But which way is home? Um... I have no idea! The map's not working! <laughs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass! Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this! Long no, love. Not long at all. Look. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Over here. <laughs> Where are you? I want my mom. We'll help you find your mom. What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who's missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? <laughs> My darling, I'm here. Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes, thanks to the octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little legs all grown up. Captain, what happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. <sighs> Weak! I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gup ass out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with 
extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Uniform Peso, our special visitor will be impressed. Thank you, Captain. Tweak, progress report. The guppy is almost here, Cap. It should be arriving in one minute. Octonauts, let's give our guest of honor a ship shaped welcome. Form a line. Permission to open the octa hatch, Cap. Permission granted. Here we are, the Octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow Octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Oh, thanks. This is Professor Inkling, <laughs> Tunip and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Aye, matey. Shiver me flippers. <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action. <clears throat> and this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. <gasps> I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Quasi! Wait! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. <laughs> Last one there be a rotten fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm. I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please. No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it when we get back. Mission. 
Ready for action, Captain! And if anybody gets hurt, you can count on me. The Gupsy's tow line could be handy for pulling Dashie and Shellington out of trouble, Cap. Thank you, Tweak. Open the Octo Hatch. Do you see anything yet, Quasi? Yow! That's got to be them! Captain, we may be dealing with a Dabalock. What's a. a. Dabalock? It looks like a plant, but once you get close, it reaches out with its giant green arms and grabs your ship. And when does it let go? Never, ever, ever. Where's the Dabalock? Where is it? Where'd you go? Pinto, how did you sneak aboard? Aha! A stowaway! Wait, dead ahead. There they are. Is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! Avos, ye double orc! You can't hold me here, you scurvy beast! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. Uh, Quasi... We may not be dealing with a Dabalock after all. Of course not. I know Dabaloks, Captain. This is no Dabalock. Hmm. It looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi. Let's get the tow line. Huh? <gasps> this kelp is strong. We'll have to pull really hard. No, wait. The guppy isn't the only thing stuck in there. Look. We have to be careful. If we pull too hard, it could hurt those baby snails. You're right, but we have to free the gup right now. <sighs> it's it's like a bandage. They're just wrapped up in a giant bandage. Hmm. Do you think you could unwrap it? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a lot of unwrapping to do, Captain. And we do have a spare helmet, Pinto. Aye, aye, Captain. Remember, this is a real mission. I'll follow your orders, just like a real Octonaut. Octonauts, take your positions. If you don't mind. Captain, peel from the top. Aye, aye, Peso. Quasi, take it under. Aye, aye, Peso. Pinto. Open that leaf! Aye, aye, Peso! Thank you for saving the baby snails. And us. Oh. <laughs> Your brother kept everybody safe today. Thanks to you, Peso. Our mission was a success. Oh. <laughs> Can I try on your hat? Actually, I made this for you. If you want it. <sighs> I know I'm a pirate and a medic. You can swashbuckle. And swash bandage. Just like a real octonaut. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the octopod! I see it, I see it. We're almost there, Mum. Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the octonaut. I hope they get here soon. Pinto, Mum, you're here! 
I can't wait to ask Peso about his adventures. And look, Mum, we get to swim through the Octa Hatch. See how it opens? Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. We're here! I hope Peso's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto! Peso! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum... Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the Octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just... One of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Thank you so much for taking us to see the Iron Clam race, Captain Barnacles. We all want to see it. I think Hugo's going to win again. Hugo wins the Iron Clam every year. What's the Iron Clam race? And who's Hugo? I'll show you. I've got some great video I shot of last year's race. There's Hugo in the sliding event. Whoa, he's fast. He broke the penguin diving record too. He went deeper than any other penguin ever has. And held his breath for more than 20 minutes. Wow, that's a long time even for a penguin. Yow! And he swims almost as fast as the gut bee. No one can beat Hugo. He's so good at everything. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clam, Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year, no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> me? Is this a joke? Nope. But... I could never beat Hugo. Of course you could. You're my big brother. And you can do anything. My son, the athlete. Captain, tell them I can't do it. Who says you can't? Hi, matey. You can't give up the ship before you've even set sail. You still have time to train, Peso. The race is in Antarctica, and it's going to take us a while to get there. Yes, if you work hard, you can do it, Peso. I'm happy to help. I know a little something about building strength. Mm. Please, Peso, please. OK, I'll do it. Fast enough. Here we are, Captain. So tell us, Peso, how do you feel right before the big race? Nervous, but I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you. Not everything. <laughs> Almost everything. I don't have a chance against Hugo. 
Why did I ever agree to do this? Pea soup! Pea soup! Yeah! That's why. You're right. I can't let him down. And you must be Peso. I really have to thank you for signing up for the Iron Clam. Without you, I wouldn't have a chance to win again. Don't be so sure you're going to win this time, Hugo. My big brother's a great athlete. Of course he is, little guy. May the best penguin win. Even though it's kind of obvious who that's going to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Clam! The race that pits penguin against penguin in three exciting events. Sliding, diving and swimming! A penguin must win two or more events to win the race and this special trophy, oh, the Iron Clam! Event number one, sliding. I shall throw the iron clam down the slope. Then the racers will slide down after it, penguin style, on their tummies. Whoever catches it first wins the event. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Uh, uh. Quasi, activate skis. And Hugo takes an early lead in the sliding event. Look how he takes that curve. Peso's off to a, a slower start, but there's still plenty of time. A perfect turn for Hugo. Uh-oh, Peso's having some trouble. Catching up? And... Yeah! Who says penguins can't fly? Uh, Quasi, they can't. Flappity flippers! It's a wipeout for Peso! And the winner is... Hugo! Peso, you'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Peso? I'm fine. I'm just sorry I let everybody down. Don't worry, matey. The race isn't over yet. That was just the first event. There's still two more to go. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Peso. This was your first time. The first time I did the sliding event, I almost lost too. Though, of course, I ended up winning, so that's not really the same, is it? <gasps> Please take your places for the second event. Dashie's going to use her camera to video the underwater events, so you can watch them from the octopod. <laughs> Very kind of you, Captain. Good luck, Peso. I just know you're going to win the next one. Right, I can do it. Welcome back to the Iron Clam, event number two, diving. I shall throw the iron clam into the water. Then the racers will dive down after it. Whoever brings it back to me first wins the event. Remember, if Hugo wins this, he wins it all. Let the countdown begin. Both penguins are off to a good start. They're neck and neck. Peso takes the lead. He goes for the clam. He's got the clam. He's dropped it. He's got it again. Peso's got the clam. Jumping jellyfish. Peso's got the clam. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Oh no! He's lost it! The Iron Clam is sinking again! And this time Hugo's closing in on it. 
Dashy, it's not over yet. Those penguin wings are as good as fins underwater. Look how fast they're swimming. Like a couple of dolphins they are. Hey, dolphin! Drop that clam, please. What? Huh? Oh, we have a new twist, folks. The dolphins dropped the clam, but now a whale's got it. Yeah. Peso's got it! Oh, now Hugo's got it! Now they both got it! Give me that! It's mine! No, it's mine! I got it first! And I've got it last! Whoa. This race is taking the Iron Clan to new heights! I had it first! Dream on! Whoa! Oh, wait, now an albatross has got the clam and is flying off with Peso and Hugo! Now there's a bird that can fly! But Peso and Hugo can't. We need to stay with them. Let go! No, you let go! Yeah, how about you both let go? You two are getting heavy! Drop it! You drop it! How about I drop it? Huh? Oh! Quasi, get ready. Steady as she goes. Now, activate airbags. <coughs> Thanks, Captain. And they're off. We'll catch up with you, Peso. Yeah, got it. Ooh, ooh. No, I've got it. What? Finders keepers. Tentacles off, Squiddo. It's mine. Drop it, Hugo, before you get hurt. I'm not falling for your tricks. Mine, 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 mine. After that clam. There they are. Looks like everybody wants that clam, but this race is just for penguins. Peso's looking strong, but Hugo's pulling ahead. Hugo, Hugo, of you we sing. You're so good at everything! Oh, I'm sure there must be something I'm not good at. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. And Peso takes the clam! And the winner of the diving event is... Peso! could do it. I've been beaten? That's never happened. Hey so, hey so, of you we sing. You might even win this thing. I hey, might so, even win? I might even win. Ladies and gentlefish, for the first time in years, we have a tie. Each penguin has won one round. So, it all comes down to the third and final event. Please, take your places. Event number three, swimming. The racers will swim from one end of the trench to the other. The iron clam is waiting at the finish line. Whoever reaches that first wins the event, the race, and the iron clam. Let the countdown begin! Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Oh, Peso. Don't let him get ahead oh, of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. Yo ho! Hey, hey, hey! Go, go! Uh oh! Look out! Oh no! There's been a terrible accident! 
Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye, aye, Captain. Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh. Where is he? Is he okay? Uh. Uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Ah, it does. But how are we going to get out of here and finish the race? Good question. I'm just afraid that if we try to move one ice block, the rest will fall on top of us. We've got to get them out of there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Peso and Hugo are trapped under big chunks of ice. We need Gup C and D to rescue them. Come as quickly as you can. I want to come too. I have to save my brother. Sorry, Pinto, but this job is just too dangerous. You can help by staying here with your mum and looking after her. Come along, Pinto. <sighs> Octonauts, this is going to be a very tricky operation. We need to carefully remove the chunks of ice one by one, so the whole pile doesn't fall on Peso and Hugo. Tweak, you can start with that one. You got it, Cap. Don't worry, the Octonauts will get us out of here. Sorry, Camp, but this chunk of ice is too big for me to get a hold of it. Then we'll use the Gupsy. Take it slowly, Shellington. Aye, aye, sir. Last one. Easy now. Hugo, are you all right? We're okay, just a little cramped. Pinto, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Captain. I was just trying to help, but I've made it even worse. Aye, matey. The ice chunk is wedged tighter than before, and now we've got no rope to pull it with. Did you hear that? How are they going to haul the ice chunk away without rope? Good question. Wait a minute. That's it. Captain! I have an idea! Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gup B. Aye, aye, Captain! Ready? Pull! Come on! You can do it, Pinto! You did it! Thanks, Captain! Yes, thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts! Let's get back to the race! Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clan? That's what I would do. Because there are more important things than winning. Like what? 
like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah. Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo... ...across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have... Hi! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! Hey, hey. Proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero. <laughs> oh, Mom. Your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh, that's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh... I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me feet. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, 
A tale like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters! Look! Over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi! Right into that Nakawak's lair! Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail? Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. <laughs> Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah! 
wider, please. Ah! Whoa! Vast! It's the Nakawak! And it's got Peso! We have to save him! Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwack hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwack. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Of course not. I only eat tiny things. And besides, I don't have any teeth. Look! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pindo, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates. But not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Aye, me hearty. Why couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adelie penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. Hi, Hi Peso. Peso. Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your sea-going feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry. I know the type. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone! <laughs> a rock! A rock? That's right. Adelie penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip, and I'm Flap. Oh, here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks, and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Can I do <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? 
because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm flap. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip. Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> Flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like Flap's. I mean, Flip's. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie. You don't scare me. <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver me whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think Captain Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashi to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards me. <laughs> Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. There's a big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger guff. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the guff sea. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. Hang on, penguins. I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. On board. Oh, we need a shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too cold to move. Hold on, Maisie! I'm coming for you! Let's get inside that tent and warm up. 
All right, Quasi. We'd all be icicles if it weren't for this tent, Peso. I hope Mum and Dad are all right. How will they make it back in this storm? Don't worry. Captain Barnacles will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> But an iceberg on the beach could really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. <laughs> Penguins, this could get bumpy. Yay! I told you the captain would bring your parents home, matey. <gasps> <laughs> Octonauts, thank you so much for... Hold on. Where's Rocco? Where's, Where's Quasi? Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? Cannonball! Are you sure this is the place, Captain? I'm sure, Quasi. The Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post is out here on the sea ice. Aha! There it is! Let's go! I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles! It's good to see you back in the old post, sir! Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker! Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys! I mean, the Octonauts! I'm Quasi! And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? OK, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashie here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashie. She's our computer expert aboard the octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. Okay, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashie, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Antarctica. 
Hochmut to the Gup S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. Ooh, me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. Phew! What was that? I'm not sure. Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adeli penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once-a-year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, but I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju! Please keep up with the rest of the group. But look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Ah, oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> Everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. We should be getting close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, mateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. Captain! Flashing light! Straight ahead! I think we've found our research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my... Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Somebody had to eat and run. And somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. 
Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Oh! Uh, what was that? Everybody out! Here, grab on! Is everyone okay? Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Mm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. I don't believe it! Professor Natquick? Oh, I don't believe it! Barnacles! <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes! I was beginning to think that nobody heard me! <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise snowballs! <laughs> Very good, Barnacles! Thanks! But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago! No one knew you were still here! My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave! I'm on the edge of amazing discovery! But it may soon be lost! Lost? Why? Follow me! Click, click! This is why I called for help! I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in... All of your work goes with it. And disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ice research station to safety faster and you can save bunch of munchy crunchy... Octonauts, you save the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce with a chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous bloop-topus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Natquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? Yeah, nothing. I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. What? What is it? Mm, sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Patter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adelie Penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. Cap, the flares are ready to go. 
They should be bright enough so the Adelie penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashy? The radar shows that the Adelie penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Lights? Attention, Adeli penguins! This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso. Why? What's he saying? Shh, please stay where you are and don't go any further, or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody, stop! All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are, but we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. The bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. First, we drill a tunnel through the ice. And the heated drill will melt the ice into water as we go. Then, the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. I believe everyone's here. Uh, oh, except. Hold on. Where's Uju? Oh, wow. Uju! Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes. Kick, kick! You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, Uju! No time for stopping. Speed waddle! All right, I'm coming. Ice crack! Uju! Wait! I hear rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes. That's definitely the sound of penguin flippers. He's alive. Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly. Poor Rujo. Don't worry, penguins. We'll save him. Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso, the rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of you back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. Uju, can you hear me? Peso, I'm down here. Yes, I'm coming for you. Did I fall all the way to the bottom? No, you were lucky. You landed on a ledge. Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but 
I can't move my foot. Hold on. I'm almost there. Please, <sighs> so. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Positions. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me! Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. Octonauts, and especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job. And now your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh dear. Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward waddle. Goodbye. Oh, how fast can this thing go? Let's find out, Pacey! Oh, fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes! Oh, but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart! Hmm, what do you think, Twig? Well, it's definitely a fixer-upper, so let's fix her up! Just give me about... Eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you like it. I call it the Gup Eye. The eye is for us. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashy. These legs can lift the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible! If you like the outside, you will love what's inside. Come on, your very own hot chocolate machine. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup I. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurped puss. Whoops. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved. How would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, please. Me too. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There. Good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashy to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way, and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashy. Head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the Gup E. Oh, no. <sighs> Captain, come in, Captain! I don't believe it! Just a little
wait out the storm. <sighs> well, it's kept us safe for many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers. <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am... You actually live up here. Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, now you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Hello! But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Ooh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times, and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, sir, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew we'd find them! Listen to this. Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! A baby tree lobster! I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. Yow! He's getting away! Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonauts to the launch! Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, vegetables!
Lift it up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Kip. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant. Just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. Hi. You mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Oh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Catch, Captain. Ah. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> oh, we were so worried. <laughs> but where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. <laughs> well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Hey, sir, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today. And Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Um, how do we get down from here anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Antarctic icebergs are huge. Sure looks cold out there, matey. It is cold, Quasi. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. Its freezing temperatures make it very difficult to explore. Oh, then it's too cold for pirates, that's for sure. Captain, the water temperature's dropping fast. The octopod will freeze up if we go any further. Dashi, bring the ship in for landing. It's time to test out Tweak's latest invention. Octonauts, how do you like the Gup S? Incredible! I designed the Gup S to withstand even the coldest temperatures. So Antarctica's the perfect place for a test drive. It's got a heated ice drill, a special ice-proof camera, an anti-freeze system, a hot cocoa machine, <laughs> but that's not even the best part. The Gup S is two Gups in one. It can explore over the ice and under it. Oh, incredible. Octonauts, our mission is to explore Antarctica from top to bottom. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, you're with me in the Octosled. Dashy, Tweak, Tunip, ready for separation? Aye, aye, Captain. You got it, Cap. Operation Over Under begins now. Activating ice drill. It's time for...
for us to go over. While we go under. Tweak, she's running fine. Is everything okay down there? So far, so good, Cap. Make sure you take lots of pictures of any creatures you find under the ice. That's the plan, Shillington. When you finish exploring, we can reconnect using the ice spy. It's over there on the left. It can detect anything that's moving under the ice, and it should help you find us. Thanks, Tweak. Barnacle's out. Captain, we should be on the lookout for creatures up here, too. Huh, though there aren't many that can live in such a cold place. Everybody, keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, let's see what this Octo Sled can do. Yow! I mean. Everyone, hang on. Whoa! Ice. Ice. And more ice. Uh, well, Captain, uh, I suppose there's nothing to see up here. We better head back to the octopod and warm up, eh? Quasi. We've just got here. <laughs> Aha! There. What is it? It looks like some kind of hole. Octonauts, let's investigate. <laughs> Coming, Quasi! Just a minute, Captain. Just have to get my tail in here and zip this up here and... There! Uh, Quasi, do you really think... I. Oh, you don't want me getting frostbite on me tail, do you? <laughs> Little help, Captain. Huh? There you go. Thank you. Captain, Quasi, come and look at this! It looks like it was carved out of the ice by something very hard and very sharp. Oh, tell you what made that hole, mateys. T'was none other than the Ice Fanged Chomper. The what? The Ice Fanged Chomper. Pirate legend tells of a rare sea beast with teeth like razor-sharp icicles. The sneaky scallywag swims under your feet and jumps the ice right out from under you. That's why pirates steer clear of Antarctica. If the cold doesn't get you, the ice-fanged chomper will. Uh, Quasi, we still don't know what made this hole. We'll just have to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Captain, look! A storm's moving in, and fast. Everyone, back inside. Wow, we're now further under the ice than anyone's ever been. Any other ship would have frozen by now. The Gup S is amazing, Tweak. Thanks, Dashy. The antifreeze system keeps it from getting too cold. I got the idea from some of the fish that live down here. They have antifreeze in their blood, so they never freeze up. Hmm. I hope we see some of those fish. I'd love to test out the ice-proof camera. If only there was something cool to... <laughs> Photograph! Come on, Tunip. We better get that ice-proof camera ready. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. <laughs> We've got to show these creatures to Shillington and the others. Oh, but my camera's already starting to freeze up. Don't worry. The ice-proof camera's almost ready. Uh, Heidi, hey! Out of my way! <laughs> oh, sorry. We didn't see you there, Mr. Sea Star. Sea Star? I'm not just any Sea Star. I'm a superstar. Name Saul. You didn't see me coming because of my camouflage. Makes me look just like the ground. Nobody sees me unless I want them to. What's this thing? It's in my way. This is a camera. It lets our friends up there see what's down here. You have friends? Up there? Uh-huh. Always wanted to see what was up there. Above the ice. Hey, uh, don't distract me. I gotta keep moving. Gotta warn the little ones. Warn them? About what? Oh, no time. Out of the way. I gotta get going. Fast. 
Watch yourselves! I'm moving at super speed! Captain Barnacles, are you there? Oh, we're here, all right. Though we can barely see a thing in this snowstorm. We'll take a look at this. Look at all those colorful sea stars. Look at these. Ooh, what kind of plants are those? They're called sea tulips, Peso. But they aren't plants at all. They're animals. Look out. are hourglass dolphins. They're only found here in Antarctica. Ah, there's more action down there than up here in this scurvy storm. By the time we get through it, it'll be dark outside. <laughs> Actually, Quasi, in Antarctica it never gets dark during the summer. You can't tell, but right now it's the middle of the night. Middle of the night? Yeah! Now you're pulling me full! <sighs> There's no time to rest now. If we don't keep moving, we'll be completely buried in snow. Rest? I'm not even tired. The pirate always knows when it's night, and I say it's definitely not... Uh, uh. Operation Under Team, still awake down there? Sure are, Cap. We've moved to a new location, and I'm almost finished. Just one more bolt, and I can put this project to bed. <sighs> and I need to thaw out my camera. It's frozen solid. Heidi, hey, out of my way. Oh, hiya, Saul. Huh? How'd you get all the way down here so quickly? Uh, actually, we've been here a while. It's just a little bit down from where we met you. Eh? Oh, never mind. Look out! I'm picking up speed! Gotta get down there and save the little ones! Save them from what? That! What is that? Ah, no time to sit around talking about it! Gotta go! <laughs> oh. Cap, you gotta see this! We're looking at it right now, Twig! Jumping jellyfish! It's a brinacle! They're very rare and very dangerous for the nearby sea creatures. Shellington, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to your stations. Shellington, what are we up against? A brinicle is like a huge icicle that drips down from the ice above. Very salty, very cold. When it hits the ocean floor, it creates a river of ice that freezes all the creatures that can't get out of its way. How long do we have? This brinicle's moving fast. We don't have much time at all. Let's get out of here. You'd better get out there and help those creatures. You got it, Cap. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain? We've got a problem. Our hatch is frozen shut. Don't worry, we're coming down to hell. Hurry, it's soon to scan. Dashy, tweak. Ah, the storm must be interfering with the radio. How will we find them? The ice spine will show us anything moving under the ice. It's our best chance of finding Dashy and Tweak. Ugh, this hatch is still frozen shut. Dashy, let's see if we can warm it up. I'm sending more antifreeze to the hatch now. Give it a little more, Dashy. It might start getting cold in other parts of the ship. A little bit more. The rest of the ship is getting too cold. We're losing power. I almost have it. Hurry. Power failure in five. Four, three, two... Got it! The ship's temperature is returning to normal. Super, super! Come on! There's no time to lose. Ah, the storm's getting...
getting worse. Look, something's moving under the ice. It could be Tweak and Dashy. Which way, Shellington? Turn left, Captain. Now to the right. Left. Now right. Jumping jellyfish, it's going all over the place. Whoa. Which way now, Shellington? It's stopped. Come on, everyone. No time to lose. This rope will help us find our way back. Everyone, hold on. Look, there's something up ahead. It's another one of those holes. Hmm. This one started to freeze over. Shiver me whiskers. Did you see that? You don't think it's the Ice Fanged Chomper? <gasps> it's trying to chomp through the ice. That's exactly what it's doing. But it's not an Ice Fanged Chomper, Quasi. It's a Weddell Seal. A Weddell Seal? It looks like it's trapped. Weddell Seals breathe air, Captain. It'll suffocate if we don't break through the ice. Move aside. <sighs> Thank you. I was about to run out of air under there. It's lucky we found you. But what were you doing? Sorry, no time to talk. <sighs> of course. Weddell seals make breathing holes in the ice with their front teeth. Ouch! Oh no, something's wrong. Excuse me, my name's Peso. I'm a medic, and I help any sea creature who's hurt or... Have to... Oh, keep chomping. Oh, I can't let it freeze over. Ow! Oh, oh your tooth hurts. That's why you were stuck under the ice. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry, um... Wilma. Don't you worry, Wilma. I'll have that tooth fixed in no time. Captain, we need to get Wilma inside right now. Aye, but what about her breathing hole? It'll freeze over again. Good thinking, Quasi. Here you go. Sala, <sighs> we have to get everybody away from that Bronicle. Hey, you're telling me! What do you think I'm in such a hurry for? Will you be okay? I'm a superstar, remember? I'll be right behind you. Faster! We can't let them freeze. <laughs> bit of pressure. Yeah. There. Good as new. Hmm. That feels better. Oh, thanks, Peso. How long before I can start chomping ice again? I'll just give those teeth a quick clean and then you can chomp away. What flavoured toothpaste would you like? I have tuna fish or squid. I think I will try... squid. Still no sign of Dashy and Tweak. Mm, they could be anywhere under all this ice. Under the ice? Spit. Who's under the ice? Some of our friends. And I think you might be able to help us find them, Wilma. <laughs> Quasi, come in, Quasi. How's it going under there? Still no sign of them, Captain. This could take a while. This day keeps getting colder and colder. Hey, look! They are up ahead! Shiver me whiskers! How'd you spot them, Wilma? 
We weather seals have excellent eyesight. Come on! Captain, I think we found them. Follow us. Good work, Quasi. Everyone else, let's lend those creatures a paw. There you go. Remember? Close one. Is everyone all right? <laughs> Never better, Captain. Nothing like a little brinicle smashing to warm you right up. How's that tooth doing, Wilma? Chomping like a champ. And you all look much better, too. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. Uh, so? What about your arm? Ah, uh, don't get your ears in a twist. My arm's gonna be just fine. I'm a superstar with a superpower. Superpower? It's true. It takes a bit of time, but sea stars have the power to grow back their arms. Good work, everyone. I'd say Operation Under was a big success. Eh, uh, enough about Operation Under. What's this Operation Over I keep hearing about? Cap, maybe while Sol's arm is growing back. He could come and see for himself. Why not? You mean, oh, up there, now? Octonauts, let's do this. Hot diggity, 
<laughs> Say, sea star. Captain rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> All clear, Captain. Thanks, Dashy. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. <laughs> All clean, me hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cone snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! uh, uh, I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh, What's going on out here? <gasps> Me oh my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, you see. Ooh. <gasps> <Phew>. oh. <gasps> Leave me alone, will ya? Um. Uh, huh. <laughs> Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. 
Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo chutes. I need you to close them off. On a cap. I'll let you know as soon as. <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, oh me. Oh, peso. You'd better prepare one more bed. <laughs> How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. <laughs> Watch it! Watch the big idea! Captain, you did it! <laughs> oh no, you were stung! Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be. Oh dear! What's happening? Uh, ships entering the roaring 40s. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Oh, oh, yes. Somebody has to pilot the ship. And that person is you, Peso. Me? <laughs> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crabectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills. And I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> all right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. to the steering wheel. Uh-oh. Big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> engage rudder? Whoa! Maybe I can do this. What do I do? Rocks and rough waters. It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can. On ship, Peso's in danger. Uh, must hold on. Uh, uh, flippers. Uh, we're out of the roaring forties. I did it. Now to switch the ship back to autopilot. To check on my patience. Hey, so look out, cone snail. Huh? Hey, so I'm, I'm all right. Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. Sorry for all the trouble. I was scared, see, and I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye-bye.
Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh, you might want to tell that to the vegemals, matey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.